Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you saw from the title, is a Cartier Chess and Clue ring unboxing. So I purchased this ring last week when I was in New York. I filmed a vlog while I was there, so if you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave it in the description box below and it'll also be linked at the end of the video, so you should totally go watch that. It was so much fun. New York is my favorite place in the whole world and I want to live there so bad, but I don't think Joey really liked it that much. But it's okay, we'll just manifest it and then maybe one day it'll happen. But yeah, we did a lot of shopping while we were there and it was a ton of fun, so you should definitely go check out that vlog. But yeah, I opened the ring already because I purchased it in store and I wore it. I put it back so that we could film this video. I think these videos are a ton of fun and when I'm making a bigger purchase, I like to see what I'm getting myself into. So I hope this video is helpful. But yeah, here's the bag. They put it in a bigger white shopping bag, just a plain white bag, just because we were in New York so that it would look more discreet. Although I feel like the people, like the locals know that it's Cartier if it's in a plain white bag, but I guess it is a little bit less eye-catching than this So yeah for your safety they put it in a white bag. There are two little pamphlets this one It's the sales associates card and then I think this is the receipt. Yeah, this one's the receipt the total I'm not gonna say because my family watches my videos, but just go look on their website I initially was gonna get the love ring the very classic thicker love ring. I decided not to get that for two reasons. One, because I looked at it and in my head, I was like, I am certainly gonna get the thicker one. The thin one doesn't look as cute to me. The thicker one, all the way. And then I went there and it, I don't know, it just was bigger than I guess what I expected. And then I think just on my hands, they're kind of small, dainty fingers. So it just seemed not as flattery. And when I tried on the little thin one, it looked so cute. So I think in the future I'll get that one. But yeah, I just wanted to get this one just cause I feel like it's more unique as my first ring. But yeah, in the future, I think I will get the classic love wedding band. And then this one is the certificate. Everything is so fancy and official. I don't know if I need to hide this number, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It's just the number and the little thing that says, this is real. It says made in 18 karat gold or in platinum. We certify that this is an authentic Cartier jewel. So that's cool. If you ever wanted to sell something you bought, then you have this to show that it's real. Although a lot of people are making really good fakes with like even the fake certificate. So I don't really know. And then here is the box and then the actual jewelry box. Here's the little button and then you push it. Okay, mine, mine's janky, it, it doesn't work. But the idea is that you push it and then it has the opening mechanism, but I think mine's like finicky, so. Okay, well mine doesn't work very well, but I don't really care. <laughs> I'm never gonna open this. And there's the ring. Very pretty. Like I said, this is the small one. Not only is it cheaper, but I just think it's a lot cuter than the thick one. I just feel like the thick one is way too thick. So yeah, this one to me is perfect. It is so cute. So yeah, you just slide it out and there it is. It's so cute. I love it so much. I got it to fit my pointer finger on my right hand, but honestly it can fit on my middle finger too, or like on my left hand, either way, it all fits, which is awesome because I was a little bit worried about the sizing when I got it. This is a 51, which I don't know what that translates to in US sizing. She took this ring that I just barely got also in New York, which is a size six. And then she used that for reference. I told her to go a size down, which was this one, the 51. So one thing about this ring, I heard that the circle bit kind of digs into your skin because it's a circle, a complete circle. So yeah, a couple people said that it was kind of uncomfortable that it digs into your skin. And if you're gonna get the ring to go up a size, so I was like, oh shoot, maybe I shouldn't have gone a size down. Maybe I should have just stuck with the six. For me, it, it does leave a tiny little indent, but it doesn't really bother me, especially because I feel like my hands fluctuate a lot. Like if I'm cold, it's the perfect size. It's still pretty loose because I I hate when rings swivel around your finger because they're too big, which my wedding ring does all of the time. It's pretty loose on me. I don't know, I don't know why that happens. I think my knuckles are just big and then down here it's skinnier. So then rings are always gonna kind of swivel on me. So I didn't want that to happen. I'm glad I went with the size that I did. 
I don't know if I already mentioned this, but this is the yellow gold. I really love yellow gold. I know they have a pink gold, which is pretty similar, but I really like the vibrancy <laughs> and the yellowness of yellow gold. But yeah, I am so happy with it. I think it looks so cute and this ring I am leaving here for now But if I get the love ring, we'll put it on this finger and I could have all three and that would be cute Or I could take that off and then have the two Cartier pieces right there and it would look so good So yeah, the sizing is kind of tricky. I don't really know what to tell you if you're trying to order online That's why I had to wait to get it in New York because we don't have a store in Utah The lady in the store did say that it runs big, but at the same time People say to go up a size if you don't want the thing to poke you. Just try it out, it's so cute. Don't let the, the fear of the indent stop you because it doesn't really bother me at all. And you can always exchange, she said, to up to 30 days if the sizing doesn't fit you. One more thing I forgot to mention, they did give me a little travel pouch, which was super nice. That's what it looks like. I think I'll always be wearing it, but if for whatever reason I'm not, it's nice to have this to put it in, in case you don't want to have this big fancy thing. They also didn't give me a cleaning kit, which I think sometimes they do, which was kind of sad. But then at the same time, I know they don't always give out this. It's fine. I have a jewelry cleaning kit for my wedding ring. But yeah, if they don't give you either one of those, just ask and I'm sure that they will. To be honest, that was my first time being in a Cartier. I had to make an appointment and I felt really weird about it, honestly. I think I just felt like a kid. I'm 23 years old, but being in there, I was... I. <sighs> I kind of felt like they felt like I was a kid. Like the sales associate did not offer me champagne, which it's fine, I wouldn't want it anyway, but she offered me water. And I think typically they do offer you champagne. I just felt like I did not belong in there. And it was just like uncomfortable because they said that they would come and grab me. And then I was waiting for like 15 minutes before anyone did. So I was kind of unsure what I was doing. And then just looking at everything like, I knew, oh, that right there is $40,000 and that's $10,000 and it just felt really bad. Like they had so many security guards because it is literally like a bank or maybe even worth more than a bank if they have several pieces that are worth $40,000. I don't know how much they keep in a bank at a time, but uh, it just felt so like, okay, I feel fine because I got pretty much the cheapest thing that you can get and I'm happy with it. I like it. I like investing in jewelry that's like 14 karat gold or 18 karat gold because then it never tarnishes and I can wear it every day. I think that'll get a lot of use out of that. But there comes a point where it's just so excessive. Like if you can spend that much on a piece of jewelry, awesome, that's good for you. But you could do so much more with that one. But I'm just rambling and everything is relative because this was very expensive too. And you could say the same exact thing for it. I've been on a tangent for way too long. I'm gonna stop talking now. That is all I have for this video. I just kind of wanted to show you the ring, my experience with it, kind of do a little review. Yeah, I definitely encourage you to get it if you're if you're thinking about it, but if you're worried about the sizing or it like indenting in your finger, I really don't think it's that big of a deal at all. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to end off this video now. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And be sure to go check out my New York City vlog and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.